Hi, I'm John Nunn. I'm the owner of Bitter Burden Saddlery. And today I'm going to show you how to do a standing wrap, apply one and roll one. So first, this is the bandage I took off last night. I want to make sure that I brush it out. I get all the little things off of it so that they don't irritate the horse. And then I do a roll. And just make sure that you roll and you start very tightly. The better, the tighter the bandage really has a lot to do with how tight the rolling is. So there's the quilt. And then let me show you how to roll a, the exterior standing bandage. What we want to make sure is that we take the Velcro, we place it inward, and then roll, start your rolling very tight again. It really has a lot to do with how good the bandage is going to go on. As you go, you can actually brush it off, make sure that everything is clean, and you can pull as you go. So it keeps your bandage tight. Every once in a while, just give it a little snug. We lay it out. It doesn't have to be perfection, but pretty close to it. Now I'm going to show you how to apply the bandage and how to put it on properly. So first we're going to want to get the horse to stand up square. If he's not standing up underneath himself, we're really not going to be able to. He's going to wiggle around and move. He might do so anyways. So we want to make sure he's standing on his leg. Take your bandage and apply it to the inside and lay it nice and flat. Make sure the seam is not on the tendon here, but on the inside of the tendon. What you want to do is make sure from here you can see, am I too high, too low? And really what you want, remember, bandage might come down slightly. A little bit past the center, below the center of the knee, and you want to cover the ankle nicely. So when you're applying it, you hold it in place, you make sure that there is no wrinkle here, and you apply. What you want to make sure is your bandage is nice and square. You can almost put a pencil on that. Then I take my bandage and I pull it to the inside. And again, I square it up. And I'm not applying a lot of pressure, but I am applying slightly some. So then I turn it and I, once I get it, the first wrap, it becomes very simple from here. I just bring it around that I'm applying pressure, as you can see. I make sure that it comes slightly underneath or just equal to the standing bandage underneath the, the quilt, and then I keep applying. And I go down, and then I come all the way back up. And you'll almost get to feel how much bandage you have. Now the thing is, practice. Do it a few times. There's nothing to say that you can't. Eventually I'm going to want to come to the top. I'm going to want to be equal. Remember, I want to almost be able to put a pencil on there, and I'm going to bring my Velcro around, and I'm going to close it. Now that Velcro should hold it. If I have a particular horse that actually wants to chew on my bandage, I'm going to use a, a pepper spray or maybe a little bit of uh, cayenne pepper on this. Mix it with a little Vaseline. It's a little hint. It doesn't mold that way. And what you do is then brush it on. So if the horse is really going to be someone who's going to pick at my bandage, I want to protect it. There's a little bit of tip from John Nunn on bandaging.